Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica and I make videos all about making money on the side online here on YouTube as well as making and selling candles. Today's video is gonna be a little bit more of a fun, lighthearted video. I have 38 cents here that I've ordered from multiple different candle suppliers and we're just gonna be going through, smelling them, testing them, and just telling you what I think of all of them. And I don't even know where to start, to be honest. Um, obviously the big bottles here in the back were bottles that I reordered because I do really like them. So I don't know if we, maybe I should start with um, by company, just so I'm not bouncing back and forth between the companies. So we're gonna start with a company called Virginia Candle Supply. So I feel like this company honestly doesn't get as much credit as they should because I absolutely love their scents. And to be honest, it was a few days ago where I really thought to myself, like, I don't know why I, I haven't been ordering more samples from them. I think I just got really caught up in ordering from the Flaming Candle and from Aztec Candles. So um, we're gonna be going over everything that I have tried from Virginia Candle Supply, starting with actually this pumpkin latte. So um, this was something that I, ha I had ordered obviously like last fall, and I really love the pumpkin spice that they have, which I believe is in here somewhere. Um, actually, I'll try these side by side. So this is the pumpkin spice, and there's just something about this pumpkin spice. I, I don't know exactly how to explain it, um, but it's just, it's so good, and it, the hot throw is incredible with this fragrance. This is the best pumpkin pie spice. It doesn't smell like when you go to Walmart or somewhere like that and you get their pumpkin candle, it doesn't smell like that fake pumpkin pie. It's just, it's so authentic almost and it just smells amazing. By the way, I never smell directly from the bottle. I always smell the cap. Um, if you guys are really sensitive to fragrances like I am, um, it's a lot easier to smell the cap. It's not so overwhelming. So um, this one, compared to the pumpkin latte though, um, I was really kind of wanting to do a um, like a pumpkin spice latte type of candle. And it just didn't, like even like smelling it right now, I know I just said I never smell from the bottle, but even then like, it doesn't have that good of like a, a throw to it. It doesn't, even straight out of the bottle, it doesn't have that good of like a, like a strong scent that you wanna smell from it. Um, so out of those two, I will always buy the Virginia Candle Supply Pumpkin Spice because it's just the best smell out of any pumpkin I've tried so far. So um, next one is Butt Naked, and I feel like a lot of people have heard of this name before, and it's just a fruity blend. I believe it's just a fruity blend of bananas and um, melons, and I get a lot of... I get a lot of like watermelony type of scent to it. Me personally, I don't get a lot of banana in here. It's more of like the melony scents. Um, and to be honest, I actually haven't made a candle with this before. Um, if I did, it was a couple years ago because I've had this fragrance oil since I first started making candles. Um, but it wasn't a scent that I really gravitated towards to want to put it in my line or make uh, more candles with it. Um, another one is this buttered rum. So this is buttered rum and oh my gosh, it's so strong. So one of my all time favorite smells is the hot buttered rum from Bath and Body Works. I know that's like Voldemort, I'm sorry. But when I first smelled that candle, it was incredible. I loved it so much. And so I thought that getting this buttered rum scent was going to be the same type of scent. Um, and it's, it's not really, it has like a very, like sharp it's like toffee but it has like that sharpness that hits you when you smell it and it was one of those scents that when i took it to my coworkers, i was genuinely curious so i was asking everybody like do you actually like this scent and the majority of people said no there were a couple people that did say yes but it's just a kind of an off-putting type of scent and i feel like it's that sharpness that it has um so I didn't want to add it to my line just because of that reason. It didn't really have a good rating among everybody. Um, the next one is Patchouli Rose. And um, I had originally gotten this because when I made uh, candles for my coworkers for Christmas a couple of years ago, um, one of my coworkers' favorite scents was patchouli. 
and I didn't want to get just a straight patchouli smell so I had ordered this one and then I mixed in a little bit of sandalwood with it and it actually smelled really good but when I first smelled this because I, I had no idea what patchouli smelled like so when I smelled it I was like okay so it kind of has that like earthy incense type smell to it but having it mixed with rose smells really good and then when you mix it with sandalwood it's even better so that's one that I'm considering adding to my line is kind of like the earthy floral scent um, because this one does have a pretty strong uh, scent to it but it's it's really nice I actually like it a lot um, here's one I don't like um, this is French toast I had saw that they had a French toast and I thought oh my gosh that's gonna smell amazing um, and I really don't like it at all. Um, it's, it's really, really sweet, almost like pure maple syrup, but like a very artificial type of maple syrup. So I was pretty disappointed in it, but a lot of people did like it. Um, and by a lot of people, I mean a few coworkers, um, liked it. So, um, but it was not something that really made me want to order any more of it. Um, this next one, I do kind of want to compare it to one of my other ones. So we're gonna go from um, Virginia Candle Supply over to California Candle Supply because we're going to be comparing the two of them. So this is Marshmallow Fireside. This is supposed to be a dupe for Bath & Body Works and then this just says Fireside Marshmallow. It doesn't say type on it. So if you're ever looking for scents and it says type, like BBW type, it just means that Bath & Body Works dupe, essentially. It's trying to create the same scent as Bath & Body Works. So we're gonna smell this one, which smells like incredibly similar to Bath & Body Works. And then we're going to smell this one, which I ended up getting a big bottle of um, a few months ago for Christmas. And honestly, this one smells exactly like it too. These ones smell pretty much exactly the same. And what I love about the marshmallow scent is that even for people who don't like sweet scents, they tend to really gravitate towards this one and they don't know why. And it's because it's that, that woodsy, the cedar wood and amber that really balance out the vanilla and the sweetness of it. So a lot of people tend to gravitate towards, towards like the fireside marshmallow smell even if they don't like sweets because it's not like an overpowering like sweet scent it does kind of have that like musky woodsy smell to it so honestly I would say those are our neck and neck when it comes to the smell of them um just because they like smell exactly the same so we're gonna do all California candle supply now and we're gonna get a little um a little interesting with these two. So this is the exact same scent, but they smell different. So going into, when I when I first walked into California Candle Supply, cause I live really close to, so when I first walked in there and I smelled this one, it was one of my favorite scents, but it was one of those things where just because I liked it, I didn't know if everybody else was going to like it. So I bought a little one ounce sample um, to make for whatever occasion to test it. And obviously because I have so many little samples and so many different scents, I never got around to making it until it was one of my coworkers' birthdays. So I just made it for her for her birthday and it got really good um, feedback from everybody. So I ordered this four ounce sample and um, it really doesn't smell like this one. So there's something off about this one. I don't know if maybe accidentally two fragrances got mixed together. I don't necessarily know, but it's very off because the sample that I got, the actual like, it's the, it's the exact same one, it's, it's white tea. I don't even think I mentioned that yet, it's white tea. Um, so this white tea, which is supposed to be the same one as this one, is smells completely different. So I don't know, maybe this was just a mistake um, on their end accidentally, but I tried to make a candle with it and I absolutely hated it. So I'm hoping the next time I order it, it will smell like this one because this one is one of my favorites. So if you can find a white tea scent, I highly recommend trying it. I'm wanting to try a couple other different places um, too to see if their white tea smells just as good as that little one though. Um, we are going to go into, oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot one from Virginia Candle Supply. Sorry, real quick. 
um, going back to Virginia Candle Supply, I'm sorry. Um, this one is Christmas Eve and it is one of my favorite scents that they have. It's this gigantic bottle and I completely missed it sitting right there. Um, it is pine and orange. So that's what their Christmas Eve is. And the hot throws am like amazing. The cold throw is amazing. It is one of my favorite scents and I can't wait till when my business is up and running finally and it be uh, like the holidays are coming up that I can sell this one because it's just it's one of my favorites I love it so much just something about orange and pine together is incredible Anyways moving back to over here um, This one is bayberry so kind of going with the Christmas Christmas theme again. So this one is Bayberry, so it is like that Christmassy it has the pine type of scent to it, but it's also mixed with berries, I believe. I think that's where the term like bayberry came in or maybe bayberry is an actual like fruit or plant. I think it is. Um, I can see the image of what it looks like in my head. Anyways, um, this one's really nice. I don't think I ended up making a candle with it during this time because I was kind of all over the place. Um, but when am I not all over the place to be honest? Um, so I'll, I still need to test that one out. This one I did make though, and a lot of people did really like it. It's apple strudel and it's a little bit different than apple pie, um, slightly. And I don't necessarily know what it is. I don't know if it's because it's not very sweet. Um, it's not like that over overpowering, very like sickly sweet smell. It's very, um, just kind of. A little bit more mild and it's really nice I like it a lot this one I got a while ago this one's coconut and it smells like coconut um, I would say it smells more like coconut like if you've ever smelled coconut conditioner or there is this one conditioner I'm trying to think of in my head and it smells exactly like coconut that's exactly what this one smells like so it doesn't smell like straight coconut there's a little bit of a floral floral addition to it. Maybe even like a sweet addition. I don't know. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to place. It smells like coconut conditioner. So if you guys know what I'm talking about, that's what it smells like. So I probably wouldn't recommend that one as like a very um, like straightforward coconut smell. Um, this next one I was really disappointed in because I loved it so much, but the hot throw was just not there. Um, it's Cali Coffee House. And to me, all coffee smells, smells like caramel. So uh, my boyfriend, whenever he smells coffee scents, um, I have this one and another one I'll talk about. Um, he loves coffee, he drinks coffee. I don't personally drink coffee, but I do like the smell of it. To me, this smells like caramel. To him, it does smell like coffee. Um, but the hot throw unfortunately wasn't there, so I will not be re-purchasing re this one. And this one is the Cali Coffee House from Candle from California Candle Supply. That's a tongue twister. The next one is a sample that I recently got in my last order with them and it's lavender fields. So I'm trying to get a really nice lavender scent to add. And because a lot of California Candle Supplies, their hot throw um, isn't always the best, um, I do want to test this one out to make sure that the hot throw on this one is good. I'm not saying that their products aren't good because I've gotten incredible hot throw and cold throw from a lot of their scents, um, but just a few of them I have noticed um, isn't the best. So this one is Lavender Fields and honestly, straight out of the bottle, it smells really good. If you don't like lavender, obviously you won't like this but it's very, very soft and it's not just straight lavender. I believe there's lily and rose in there as well. So it kind of just makes it really like soft and nice and not just a straight, like essential oil type of lavender smell. Um, this one is Jamaica Me Crazy. This one is one of the, my most favorite ones I've gotten from them. It's like the pina colada scent. I've used all of it, but I still wanted to keep the bottle for some reason. Um, and it's just, it's amazing. I love, candles with this in it it does if you can see kind of the color of it you can't really see it but it's yellow and it does tint the wax slightly so i mean if that bothers you then that's just something that you should know about this scent but i love the hot throw on this one it smells unbelievable it's one of my absolute favorites and next one is fresh cut roses i've had this one again for a while and this one smells 
exactly like fresh cut roses the throw on this one is really good and I mean it's just exactly what it says it is it smells exactly like roses this next one I thought I was going to use up for Christmas time and I ended up not using it but it is holiday spice and I mean it just smells like a lot of nutmeg and clove is what I gather from this. Cinnamon, cinnamon too, but just kind of that spiciness. Um, no sweet to this at all, just very spicy. This one is Walk in the Woods. Incredible um, hot throw and cold throw on this one. It is a pine scent and it's just like a very woodsy Christmas tree pine type of smell. Um, I loved making candles with this one and it was very enjoyed from my coworkers. They liked it a lot. This one is Mimosa and I mean, it, this one just smells so good. Honestly, if I could compare it to something, it smells like an orange creamsicle. So if you like the smell of that, then you'd probably like this in a candle. So um, I think it's supposed to be like, a, obviously like a mimosa. I don't drink, but it's like the champagne with orange juice, I believe is what a mimosa is. So the one that I, um, I did add this one to my line and I call it Sunday brunch. So um, this one is just kind of like a very nice, sweet type of scent to it. Um, this next one is mango papaya and this one has a very, very good throw to it. Um, I don't necessarily like it in candles. I don't like the way that it smells when it's heated and I don't, I don't necessarily know why. Um, I do have a candle behind me on my shelf over here that I had two wicks in and I was lighting it to see how well the hot throw was and it was good. I just didn't, I just didn't like the way that it smelled for some reason. It was like just hot fruit. Just, it, it just, mango and papaya just didn't seem like it should be heated up. I don't know. There was something weird about it that I didn't like. So I'm not going to be adding it to my line, unfortunately. But the way that it smells out of the bottle is amazing. This is another one that I love out of the bottle. But the hot throw is just horrendous. It's so bad. But if you were to smell this out of the bottle, I mean, you get so excited. So this one is Donuts with Santa by California Candle Supply. And there, I don't know what it is. I wish the hot throw was good because it seriously smells amazing out of the bottle. It smells like just, I don't know, like a little bit of heaven. It just smells so good. If you like sweet smells, I mean, this one smells incredible out of the bottle. Um, but the hot throw on it is just not there and it sucks. So I'm not going to be reordering that one. Um, and now we are getting to, oh, I had a duplicate of this one. So technically it's 37 cents um, and not 38. So this is vanilla and this is California Candle Supply. So it's just a really nice, like neutral vanilla smell. I have been reordering this one a lot. I really like it with a sandalwood because I do a vanilla sandalwood. That's really the only area that I use this vanilla in. It's really just per, uh, paired with the vanilla sandalwood. So that's what this one is. And this is my favorite vanilla sandalwood um, that I've tried so far. I think I tried one from, it was either Aztec or the Flaming Candle. I think it was a flaming candle and I just, I didn't like it as much. Um, there was something weird when I made it and it just, it smelled a little off. I don't know why. So pairing these um, together is my favorite thing. And if you're wondering, I do 40% vanilla, 60% sandalwood, and I love how it comes out. So are we almost done with that? We have one more left from California Candle Supply and it's Dragon's Blood. Um, I believe this is very similar to like Nag Champa or like incense, that kind of smell to it. So this smell to me, like the incense smell, it's very nostalgic for me because when I first met my boyfriend, um, he worked in a body jewelry place and it smelled exactly like that. Every time I went in, it just, incense was constantly burning. So it's just very nostalgic for me. And I know that a lot of people probably might feel the same way. So um, I know it is a popular scent. I really like it. He really likes it. So I am adding it to my line. Um, so that's all of those ones. Now we are getting into the rest of these. So we're going to be going over Aztec first. So this is Vanilla Bean Knoll 
BBW type. So again, this is a dupe for Bath and Body Works and I absolutely hate it. I hate it so much and it smells, it smells like baby powder and vanilla is what it smells like. I don't know if that's supposed to be what it smells like. I don't know if I got a, a one that's off, but it smells, I have a whole candle. I have a whole candle that I made. I don't even want to burn it because I just hated the way it smelled, but I had to test it out and see if it smelled better in a candle than in the bottle. It smells exactly <laughs> like what it smells like in the bottle. So that was kind of a fail, um, but not really because you got to try it out. You got to see what it smells like. So yeah, I just, I don't like it. It doesn't, it doesn't even smell like vanilla to me. I don't know. Maybe like the toasted marshmallow with like baby powder tossed all over it. I don't know. I do like baby powder and I do like the marshmallow and I do like vanilla, but there's something about this one. I don't know. Have you guys ever tried this before? Um, it's just, it's a weird scent. It's very, very strange. Um, moving on to the next two. I think I only have, yep, I only have these other two from Aztec. Um, I must have used up the other ones because I, I know I ordered four or I know I ordered five from them. Um, so this one is a fresh cut Christmas tree and it smells like dirt in the ground. You just cut into a Christmas tree and like the sap, like everything, like walking around, like not even just like the regular Christmas tree smell. I mean, you smell the dirt in the ground and the air. You smell everything with this one. It is really, really lovely. I do like that one. Um, and I think during Christmas time, I probably will have a bunch of different Christmas scents. So I do want to include that one in it, but the orange and pine one is still my all time favorite one. But this one is just a very raw Christmas tree smell. It's exactly what it says. Fresh cut Christmas trees, definitely to the T with that one. Um, the next one is French lavender and honey bath and body works type. And this one is, I love this one so much. It smells like a bubble bath and that's what I called my scent when I was making, when I was doing testing on this and bringing it in to my coworkers. It just smells like a bubble bath to me and it just, it's very comforting and just very lovely. It smells so good. I love that one so much. Um, I did, I almost missed this one, it's gigantic. So this is Leaves, another Bath and Body Works type candle and this will always be in my, um, in my scent collection that I sell because it's just, it's so popular. And it is, if you're not familiar with what leaves is, I believe it's a mixture of apple and nectar. Um, I believe there's other notes in there too, but that's kind of like the gist of what it is. It's a very fall type of scent. Um, to be honest, I've smelled it so many times that I don't like it as much as I did the first time I smelled it, but that's kind of the life of a candle maker. So it is what it is, but a lot of people love that one. So I will continue to have that one in my collection. And then now I think completely we are over to the flaming candle. So everything over here is a flaming candle. And we're going to start with this one. So this one is a free sample that I just got in an order. It is called Fresh Outdoors. I actually don't know the notes on this one, but it smells... It doesn't smell like laundry or like the fresh, you know, when you think of like fresh outdoors, fresh clean laundry, fresh cotton, fresh linen, that whole type of thing. Um, it doesn't smell like that. It does kind of have a little bit of like a, definitely floral is what I'm getting from this one. Floral and like a clean scent. I can't, I can't quite can't quite place it. It's not my favorite, um, but it's definitely not terrible. Um, and actually while I'm looking over here, um, I got another sample from the Flaming Candle and I actually wasn't able to pick these samples. Usually when I order online, I'm able to pick the samples. Are you, do you guys know how to pick the samples for the Flaming Candle? Cause I don't, I don't know where to find, um, where to input, where to choose the sample. This one smells really good actually. I haven't smelled I don't even know if I smelled this one. This one smells good. So this one's white linen, and then this one is the fresh outdoor. So just kind of comparing. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to like explain these. This one almost smells like a shampoo. The white linen. Maybe this one smells like a shampoo too. 
Yeah, they both smell like shampoo. That doesn't really help you guys, does it? Um, the white linen I do like better. They're both kind of that like fresh, clean, um, you know, linen-y cotton smell is what I get from both of those. But the fresh outdoors, I do kind of get a little bit more of like a earthy like tone to it just a little bit. Um, and then going in a complete opposite direction, this is movie theater popcorn. And I mean, it smells exactly like movie theater popcorn. It smells literally exactly like movie theater popcorn. Um, yeah, that's it, it doesn't smell like artificial butter. It smells like popcorn, which is pretty cool that they were able to do that. I don't like it in a candle, to be honest. I don't know why anybody would want to get it in a candle. So until I see that that becomes a demand or something that people are interested in purchasing, I don't know if I'm gonna want to add it to my collection anytime soon for my store, but it was really interesting to try out. And I did actually use that scent in my video where I talked about calculating fragrance oil percentage and calculating like weight of the wax and all that. I'll link that in the description box below if you wanna see that video and see me use that scent um, and then this next one is watermelon lemonade and I was really excited to smell this one it honestly it just smells like candy like it, it smells like candy and I don't necessarily know what candy there's something about it that smells very familiar and I don't know if it's from a specific candy that I've had before or what but it smells really really good um a little bit like a jolly rancher watermelon but definitely mixed with like that like a like a lemonade type of scent it smells really good um and then now into uh ones that i do have in my line so all of these from the flaming candle i'm keeping and i really really like them um starting with we'll do the pumpkin pecan waffles so these this scent I absolutely love. Um, I do actually want to try to order this from Virginia Candle Supply again because that's initially where I um, purchased my first ever candle oils and when I started making candles a couple years ago um, and I had purchased this one from or this scent pumpkin pecan waffles from Virginia Candle Supply loved it so much um, I do love this one from the flaming candle too but I really want to order it from Virginia Candle Supply again because I feel like I like that one just a little bit better but honestly it is if you guys haven't smelled this scent before it's just it smells so good. Honestly, it smells a little like sharp out of the bottle, but when you make a candle with it, it really like brings out a lot of like the mellow, like sweetness to it. And um, yeah, I don't know. There's something about it. I really love that one. Um, and then that one I'm calling breakfast for dinner. So kind of like um, waffles, pancakes for dinner. Just, it has like a, uh, like a maple-y undertone to it. Um, this next one is called Beechwood. And the amount of strength that this has, I mean, you could probably do 4% fragrance oil and still get a really amazing hot throw with this. Insane, like, potency of this one. Um, this one smells just, I mean, it smells so good. I think it has, it just smells so good. I believe the notes on this one, it's like eucalyptus, oak moss, and like a woodsy, like cedar wood or sandalwood. It smells so good, you guys. If you guys like a very musky, like manly type of smell, the Beechwood is incredible. You should totally try that one. Um, this one is Coffee House. So this is the coffee scent that I settled on. This was the favorite one among um, everybody at work and then also my boyfriend. Um, even taking that off, like actually just ta removing the lid from here and just talking like I was able to smell. Like the hot throw on this one is incredible. Um, I made a tiny four ounce 10 and I lit it and in my entire bedroom and even out in the hallway a little bit, I was able to smell it around my apartment, which is pretty crazy for just a four ounce 10. It usually doesn't reach that much of like a volume of space like that. Um, but this one is just, it smells so good. To me, it still smells like a caramel popcorn, but removing it, like when I first removed the lid just now and I was talking before I like really smelled it, it just like, it smelled like walking into like a coffee shop. So um, I'm still trying to figure out a name on this. I don't know if I want to do a general like coffee house, coffee shop, cup of coffee. I don't, I don't know what I want to name this one. 
Last but not least, this is something that everybody talks about in the candle group that I'm in, and it is Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles, whichever one you wanna say. It's the same type of formula that they use. I think it's like a lemon, sandalwood, vanilla, that type of scent together, and it creates just that amazing breakfast cereal type of scent. Um, and I love it so much. It smells super yummy and it has a really good hot throw, really good cold throw and really strong out of the bottle, which is always a good sign. So I had ordered the 16 ounces of this one and then the 16 ounces of leaves. And um, if you aren't familiar in my video where I was talking about uh, going over my inventory of everything that I got, which is behind me, um, I was discussing how I only want to be getting 16 ounces of each fragrance oil from now on. And that's just more cost effective for me. So I don't want to be purchasing um, little like one ounce, one ounce samples like I was before. I want to be getting these 16 ounce samples um, of knowing of whatever sense that I know that I want to get I still I've told myself that I'm done with ordering tons of samples and that is true but that doesn't mean that I still don't want to try out samples because I think that if I just stuck with what I've tried so far which to be honest this is nothing compared to what there is out there it's so many different sites I mean there's hundreds of thousands of scents that you can try and get um, I don't recommend that because it's gonna be a little bit too pricey um, but yeah, there's so many different scents and I hope this I hope this gave you guys a little bit of kind of a direction to go in or if you're curious about trying any of these scents based on how I was reacting to them or describing them. Um, I'll try to leave all of, all of the links in the description box below to all of these scents so you guys can check them out, check out the prices, look at these websites if you're not familiar with any of these websites. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was kind of entertaining and something that you found interesting and informative and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.